Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, guys, all this talk of floods, record rain, 49 inches in Houston, uh, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Maria. But then we have wildfires in California and the West Coast, of course, and Los Angeles. It was the worst ever. But now we've got a drought. And it's in the Ohio Valley, all the way up to the Northeast. Matter of fact, it's affecting the Mississippi River. Has the Mississippi River or is the Mississippi River running dry? What? Preacher man says it's the end of time and the Mississippi River is running dry. I mean, I don't know. But down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the Mississippi's cresting. And so what? Uh, even reports by uh, one YouTube uh, Mr. MBB333, he's reporting that possibly that the Mississippi River, that there may be near the New Madrid Fault area, there may be cracks in the earth that's causing some of the water from the Mississippi to go into the earth, causing it to run dry. There's places that are very, very dry. Well, Fox News has just put out an article, Drought looms for the Ohio Valley to the northeast as rainfall deficit grows. This is unbelievable that the Mississippi River is dry in some areas and flooding near flood stage in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But the, uh, the, the, the dry into summer, and I can say that it, in September up here in Indiana, very dry, didn't hardly rain a drop in the month of September up here. And because of this dry end of the summer and the start to the fall has put some areas uh, of a drought across the Ohio Valley to the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Matter of fact, while most places east of the Mississippi River have yet to develop drought conditions, with the exception, of course, of eastern Maine, the area has had hardly any participation since early September. And uh, that might be because of all the hurricanes down south. My, you know, who knows? It, many cities are running a few inches below normal uh, in terms of rainfall since August. And they are in the major cities. That would be Chicago, Indianapolis. Of course, I live right in between Chicago and Indianapolis here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, so Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Ohio, Syracuse, uh, New York City, Providence, Rhode Island. This deficit will grow even more as October starts. I'm wrong. I said New York City. It was Syracuse, New York. So please forgive me on that. The, this has prompted the drought monitor to label some of these areas in a drought and others abnormally dry. Both categories will likely expand through the week Aside from some locally heavy showers across New England on Saturday, the appreciable rain will be tough to find across much of the eastern portion of the United States through early of this week. For some areas, that may be the case through the entire week. A dome of high pressure aloft, which was in place across the eastern United States this past week, is expected to build back in the start of October. This dome acts as a wall and prevents storm systems from passing through the region. And instead, they're turning northward, which results in areas of rain deflecting northward as well. So we're seeing a minimal rain, chances to start maybe in October, especially in the mid-Mississippi Valley, Tennessee Valley, and mid-Atlantic areas. So there's a drought, and I'm right in that drought, apparently. Um... The cold front will then try to spread some rain from the Midwest to the Northeast during the second half of the week. However, this rain will have a tough time spreading South and East and may fizzle as it attempts to do so. The best chance for rain will be across the Midwest. While any rainfall this week will be welcome, it will not be enough to cover the deficit of most, most places and it will likely take several periods of steady rain to achieve it. The lack of rainfall has put a strain on community and household water systems. In some 
Municipalities are asking residents to monitor their water usage. Households that utilize underground wells for their water will want to conserve, conserve as water levels will likely continue to lower. And farmers and gardeners are also feeling the effects of the dry spell. And some of the apple crop is ripening earlier and quicker than normal, which will cause a shortening of the time for the fruit to be harvested. And that's mainly in Michigan. So fall foliage is also taking a hit amid the dry stretch that we're in. Trees that are typically turning vibrant with color during this time of year are dull and falling early. And I noticed that when I went to Pennsylvania, that, it, that the trees were not as brilliant in their colors as normal this time of year, but were duller and already falling. Not only will this disappoint leaf, uh, those who really love to see the beautiful leaves, but it will also provide dry fuel for wildfires. Hikers and campers are urged to use caution, caution when out camping uh, as uh, things are starting to dry up. So is the Mississippi River running dry or is it just a, is it affected by some type of crack in the New Madrid fault line area near the Mississippi or right on the Mississippi? Or is it the drought conditions that are starting to uh, take hold in the mid Midwest, the Mississippi Valley, the Midwestern area, the Ohio Valley area, all the way up to the Northeast. But while the Mississippi may be dry in some areas, the water's high in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'll be, I'll be in Baton Rouge, Louisiana in a couple weeks for the Lightning Strikes the Bayou Conference there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There's 600 seats for this event and 579 people have already registered. Now, get registered if you're coming, okay? Register, let us know you're coming. We're going to pack them in there. It's going to be a powerful conference. We'll, it will probably be the best conference of the year. Uh, I'll be speaking as well as L.A. Marzulli and Russ Dizdar. And for the first time ever, public speaking, VP Earthwatch, Jesse Waltman. Also, Kevin Wilson and the Kevin Wilson Band, country gospel singer, will be there. It will be a tremendous conference, and uh, you don't want to miss it. The next weekend, my final conference of the year will be in Huntington, Indiana. You don't want to miss that at the First Church of the Nazarene, the First Church of the Nazarene in Huntington, Indiana. That's going to be a power. I was there last year. It was awesome. It's going to be powerful. Get registered. Get registered for that one. That's the final conference of the year, October 28th, all right, in Huntington, Indiana. God bless all of you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time, folks. The apocalyptic signs are everywhere. 